in regard to the digital pedagogy course assignment on developing a final project I'm going to record a tutorial that will guide learners on how to start Microsoft Access there are basically three ways of starting Microsoft Access which I'm going to show in this tutorial so first of all a learner must have created the folder on the desktop so you have to right click you go to new and choose folder so once you choose folder this folder you can give it your names for example purple bernard that is the name of my folder so the first step now if you have created the folder you have to open your folder once your folder has opened you now right click in your folder you go to new and choose microsoft access database so this database you can give it your names or let's say hospital database hospital database then you enter twice to open so once you enter twice your database has opened you enable content and so to create a table you will click on create table design and then from here you will assign third names and data type let's say here you have id id maybe it is auto number you have name maybe it is first name f name and then say it is text you have sex which is also text you have the date of birth which is dead stroke time and you have district you put it there then you have illness and then it is also text you put a primary key there and then you can save this as patient table patient table and you click ok and then in this table you double click there and so from here you start entering the details of the patients so after you save and close that is one way of starting the database another way is that you will go to start so from start now you are supposed to look for database depending on the type on the window that you are using so here i can search for access database it is here so you click on it once it has opened now you browse where you are going to put your name i mean where you're going to store your database so here i browse i come and click on database i mean desktop then from desktop i will choose my folder here and this database i can give it a name here and call it i call it uh, let's say school database school database and then i click ok so this is the name of the database and then i click on create so once i click on create this you can cross and as usual you click create table design that's the second way the third way to create a database is that you will use a support file so a support file in this case for example you should be having them on your computer or stored somewhere on a flash so you open support files and then in these support files there are very many files but pick those ones of database and so for example if i pick this as a ring so when i open it i enable content now this one you will click file 
and you choose save database as this means that you are say you are saving a copy into your folder so you click there then you come to desktop look for your folder double click give it a new name or leave it with that name and click save so close close even the support files and then open your folder so when you look at this folder i have opened three files in database using three methods so there is also another method where you find that you can import an excel file into a database and this is how you can do it so in here you can right click and choose database and say clinic database i enter twice to open i enable content so in here i'm going to press external data because i want to import then i choose excel from here i'm going to import my file from support files so i browse desktop i say support files so in here i'm going to import a file called analysis so i double click i say okay then when i reach here sheet one contains data yes I say next so first rows contain column headings these are the ones so I put a tick there and then I say next oh, so it is unfortunate that this type of data may not work let us import another one Excel I browse so I'm going to choose let's say let us take details table so i double click details i click ok so first rows contain column headings yes i click next next so here choose the primary key which is this it goes there next so here that is the table i click on finish and then close so this is the table that we have just imported into database those are the three methods i mean the four methods how you can import a database and so i end my tutorial there